I'm not trying to go for the day every day and say, I don't have a dog. And when I did have a dog, I would ask him, give me one because I don't have one today. And I just want to thank you for the time you have with me today. God is with me because I don't know how I'm standing here before you today. I, I really don't know how I'm standing here before you. I would like for the Father to be with me, but he chose to see a lawyer to stay. But I have my family, and I have one of his family members as well. And that's really helping me to be strong. My son was a good child. He's a child that wanted things. He always said, Mama had millions. Because you know what? I'm going to work hard. I'm going to study hard. But he was an honor student. It was showing that. It was showing that every day in his grades and his activity. He ran a marathon last year for charity. And I couldn't be there because I couldn't get off from work. Now, I, I won't get a chance to have memories like that. He was no monster. He had no mental issues. So you guys can stop it with that. You don't have mental issues and be a straight A student through grammar school, high school, and get accepted into Northern and in the engineering program. You don't have mental issues. You know, he had the same issues that every black normal teen have in our communities. I mean, we've been starved. You know, and, and this is what needs to be addressed. So you guys can stop it. I lost two friends. I grew up with Betty. I'm from Pulaski, when they stayed on Van Buren, when they stayed on Congress. So I lost a friend and I lost my little cousin. So you guys can stop it with that. These were two good people. You know, Betty worked for an organization trying to help people in my little cousin's situation. So, I mean, you guys also need to stop it. And people are saying that the mayor needs to step up. And I was very sad no, the mayor when, needs when to I looked step at the down. news and I heard that my son had combative behavior. He don't have combative behavior. He didn't have combative behavior. Even when he was going through his teen problems, he never had combative behavior. And for them to kill him and then disrespect him and say his behavior was that way, yeah, no, it was the not. Police no. Got he, he, might have, he might have he might have been angry with his father, and they might have got into it. But as you see, I see the reason why his father's not here today. He's at seeing a lawyer right now. So my son had just called him being angry with his father because that's the type of behavior he had. But he never had combative behavior. And to be disrespected after you and took my son's life, that broke my heart. Last night I could not sleep because I heard that. Because I know my loving child. My child ran a marathon last year for a charity. Honor roll student. Since he's been having and B since he was in grammar school and Quinlan Brook. You check it out. Uh, you know, someone told me they Googled that he got in a little trouble with the police. I said, did you Google that he worked hard in school? Always worked hard in school? Always worked hard. That is not a, a game banger. That is not a, um, um, what did you say? Um, I don't know, my thoughts are not together, but a thug. My son was a respectful child that worked hard in school. Lord, we know that is the enemy. But Lord God, we ask that the enemy do not allow himself to be overtaken. But Lord, we know that you have the power to take all things. So Father God, we come today and asking that you, please, I plead the blood of Jesus over this city. I plead the blood of Jesus over our black men. Father God, as they stand up, Lord God, uh, and go to war, Father God, for their children. Father God, we ask that you would stand with them, Lord God, that they will know that they cannot go in alone. But if you go before them and make ease and success their way, victory we will be there. Yes, yes, yes. She was in. She did nothing. They took my heart away from me. She was my everything. She was my everything. I had your back. You got my back, Emmanuel. The guy came and took my sister. Shot my sister three times, Emmanuel. Your son got jumped. He got robbed. He kept that hush hush. 
So now we trying to get some justice, Emmanuel. This is me, Emmanuel, talking to you. Look at my face. We decided we could talk. Now, like I said, I had your back, Emmanuel. I tried to be quiet, Emmanuel. You know some things, Emmanuel. We both do. But now this is my sister. So it's personal. This is my niece. She in pain, just like when your son got robbed. You was in pain. See, you didn't lose your son, but I lost a sister. What is your police is doing? Is this some type of initiation over 45 innocent people get shot by police officers? And you justify it, and then all you do is put people in charge and you fire them. But at the end of the day, Emmanuel, it sits at your feet because you the chief. You in charge of everything. So as I'm looking at this camera, Emmanuel, I'm looking in your eye. Remember me, because I had your back. So now, like I said, it's like if we in the mob, you feel me? I had you, now what you gonna do for us? I'm talking about my family. The man upstairs, he made a phone call to my sister. My sister tried to aid and assist his scary ass. Yeah, everybody, the dude ran from his son, who had a baseball bat. A baseball bat. Count the stairs, people, there's three stairs. The boy never stepped down there on one of these stairs. So why did you fire a shot through a door? Why did you fire a shot, period? Now let's ask another question. Officers of Chicago, y'all took an oath, and the oath was to serve and protect. Yes. So an officer that you see with you shoot and kill an innocent woman, why did you not arrest that officer? That officer should have been arrested because it was not a justified killing. His life was not in jeopardy at not one point. So how are we to say we believe and trust the Chicago finest? How can we do that, Emmanuel? So when you sit in your office and you think about over 45 people that have been shot for no reason, we gang banging, baby. That's what we doing. So what, we got to go back to 83? That's what we got to do? It doesn't make sense, people. It could be next time your family, because see, That's right. I looked at the news several weeks ago. I never thought it was dumb on my doorstep. But you know, the, the apple don't fall too far from the tree. But I also noticed something within this 45 peoples are all getting killed. They're all of color. I don't mean to try to make this no racist thing. But like I said, Chicago police, is this some type of initiation? Kill all the blacks that you can? That don't make sense, y'all. Y'all comes with y'all cameras and all. Y'all know what I'm talking about. This is not y'all first rodeo. So ask y'all self that question. How many times and how long before we start doing something? And then all of a sudden it's not going to be right then, right? We can have as many as marches and, and prayer meetings as we can. But Chicago police is not going to stop doing what they're doing until they are sat down and teach. You do not remove your revival unless your life is in jeopardy. Again, it was a baseball bat. He never even came through the door, people. The police, what, what is you, a rookie or something? I mean, you just come on the force? And then what happened? 20 days. Okay, in 20 days, he's supposed to be off of duty for 20 days. So what's going to happen to him? After 20 days, he's going to go and do the thing to Come on, man. Is he going to be promoted? He never asked any questions. He just stopped shooting.